Hey, it's Presley at actoutgames.com here, and today is our second delivery of the Steve Spangler Science Club, and I'm really, really excited to see what's inside, so let's take a look. So before I open it, I want to mention that on the box it says deliver to chief scientist, which is me, so that is really, really, really cool. So last month's theme was colors, and I'm really curious to see what this month's theme is. So let's get it open. So these boxes are not the easiest to open. Oh ha, ha ha, yay, we did it. Successfully opened it. So here is our, this, my guide. Here is the top secret guide, and ooh, we have Insta Snow Powder. I love Insta Snow Powder, by the way. I think you can make this with baking soda and something else, but I don't remember what it is. Jelly Marbles, yay. Polymer Spikes. Okay then. And water cubes. Oh, water gel. Powder turns ordinary water from a liquid to a solid instantly. Cool. Fizzers, more of the fizzers. I love those fizzers, they're fun. Jelly crystals, super absorbent crystals absorb up to 300 times their weight in water. Oh no. Purple water crystal. First, pur purple gel gel or de purple jelly crystals and blue jelly crystals. Oh, and also yellow ones. We have a lot of different colors of jelly crystals. Cups. An alligator. Okay then. Um, a scoopity booper. I'm wearing this a scoopity booper. I don't even know what the technical term. Soda bottle. Not soda bottle yet. And other cups. Okay. There's quite a lot. So I've. I'm just gonna make a wild guess here and think the theme is water since it has quite a few things that grow in water and stuff. And this alligator might be a growy alligator. We still have a growing snake that we need to grow. So let's open this thing up and see. Yep, water wizardry. So we thought this thing was about water, but it's actually about super absorbent polymers. So polymers are long chains of molecules, and I learned about that in Cross Course Chemistry with Hank Green. And super absorbent polymers are special polymers which absorb a lot of waters, which are what these like crocodile things are made out of because they're absorbing like 500 times their weight in water because they're super absorbent polymers, and they're growing and they're getting a lot bigger. I have a snake one somewhere upstairs. I've had several dinosaur ones and drag I think I've even had a dragon one. So when you put them in the water they get bigger because they're super absorbent polymers. And there's also them in diapers um, uh, which I know because I dissected a diaper once and it had super absorbent polymers in it. And that's why babies need to wear specifically diapers. Well they don't need to wear diapers but that's why diapers are good for them to wear is because there's polymers inside so when the baby pees in the diaper the polymers absorb that and they get bigger. <clears throat> so the first demonstration is a lot like the other Steve Spangler ones which is really cool because they let you do magic tricks with science and they kind of tell you the science behind it. So the first demonstration is I'm going to take this cup of water and I'm going to pour it in this styrofoam cup and now I can go five, four, three, two, one and it's gone. Where did it go? It's magic. Not really, it's science. It, there we go. <laughs> so it's not gone, it's actually this water gel which turns water into a solid instantly, which is of course a polymer. And it's really squishy and cool looking, so I'm just gonna play with it. So it's not magic, it's science. The cup wasn't empty, it was filled with these water gel things, which turned the water into this awesome squishy substance, which I'm loving right now. Squishy, squishy. As always in the books, on the back of the page, it has a place for you to write down your hypotheses, and it asks questions like, why would someone invent a polymer? And I know it's in diapers, but I wonder what else it would be, so I'll probably write that down, because I know it's diapers, because I've dissected one before. And it also asks, 
what would happen if you put salt on the substance. I honestly don't know, but I'm going to come up with a hypothesis and I'm going to write it down and we will test it after I finish with this video. Of course, I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to leave the testing to you when you get your C Spangler Science Club. So the next demonstration we are going to show you has to do with the Insta Snow Powder, which I've played with a lot before. My school does it a lot at the winter parties, is just has a whole tank of Insta Snow that you can play around in, and it's awesome. I love Insta Snow Powder so much, but this demonstration has, you can put the powder in your hands and then dump the water on it, and it'll turn to snow immediately in your hands, and oh my god, I'm really excited for that. I love Insta Snow. So I need some help from my assistant to pull this one off because I need to use both of my hands to have the powder inside of it. But I'm so excited. Oh, I like the powder. I haven't really played around with powder much. It feels a lot like baking soda. So excited. Ready? Yes. Keep them cup together real good or like waterproof. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, oh my god! That's awesome! That's really awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. The snow is warm. The snow isn't supposed to be warm, but it's really cool. That's so cool. I mean, at first it felt a bit weird. Like, wait, what's happening? Why is it hurting a little bit? Because it was expanding and I didn't really expect it to expand that much. So it was clenched together like super tight and making the tiniest space ever and it's just like, and then it started expanding and it felt really weird but it's really awesome. I want to do this like every second of every day. So that was this month's kit. It was really, really awesome. But since it has to do with absorbing stuff, some of it has to sit overnight and I think one of them even had to sit for like 14 days. We couldn't knock that out quickly in a video. So we didn't do them. Plus we don't want to show you everything in the kit. We want you to play with your own and see what you can do with all this amazing stuff in the kit. This is so awesome. I can't wait to hear if you've played with it, what was your favorite experiment in it, if you have played with it. And I'm super excited to go upstairs and play with all the experiments since the book is packed with experiments. There's like a lot, lot of them. And I'm excited to do all of them and finish all of them and see all the cool stuff that is in this book because like always, it's T. Spangler, it's gonna be cool. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.